Welcome back to Mystery Room, Leighton Brothers. I'm the voice of Dog. With me is Admiral H. Curtis. We're back here with K7, the Mystery Rooms. I hope this is easier than the last one. It'll be a little easier, yeah, I think so. I think now we're getting into some weird case formats. That'll have to wait. We have a new lead on Atista. That's the girl from the third case? The mastermind from the mask case, yeah. Yeah. That one. Who is she again? <laughs> The walking corpse case. The stone idol was being auctioned off on the black market. She's been here, in England. They've cornered her in the building cellars. However... A secret room, or maybe a mystery room? Maybe. Yep, we're not... We're not spending today in the office. We're going to the crime scene. Shocking. That's a great image. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Plural. Well, here we are, in the crime scene. Oh. He just shows up. Maybe he's just more unstable outside the office. Maybe. So, like, is this actually a crime scene? What happened here? Well, supposedly the mastermind is hiding out here, and they can't find her. Right. But that's not really a crime, per se. 
we're following up on our previous case. Sure. We need to find the secret room where she's hiding. Simple enough. Thank you for reminding me, game. Start with this room here. time limit this time. Okay, we might be able to use the music box later if we find a winding key. What Actually, we're doing some adventure game nonsense here. Yup, we're, we're in an adventure game now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I dragged you into a different genre. This is a strange game, and I kind of I like how it develops, but it's definitely not what you expect from a, a game about mysteries. I found that surprise kind of fun. <laughs> Layton is like, no, don't break the, what do you call it? The, the, the Maybe flag. Maybe opening it with the key is the trap. Who can say? Who can say? Oh, oh my. No. Oh. Wait, you know what? There was a note I didn't look at on the... Oh, I did look at the note. Hornless is the beast that leads the way. Okay, that was what it said. Somehow I completely forgot looking at that. Cat Compendium. Definitely look at that Cat Compendium. Ah, we got a book puzzle. Assume anything and everything could be a trap. Remember the, the thing that this woman masterminded. We're finally tracking down the Diablo. They all just pop back out when you push them in. The order is the key. Okay, so we got diet, cat book, cars, and tea. Let me get okay. this note. Bovine comes before swine. Okay. So that's two hints for something. Yeah. It must be for this. Oh, yeah. I guess so. We've got a rhino, a bull, a dog, and a pig. I guess that's also where the hornless beast thing is. Mm -hmm. Hornless is the beast, it's so okay. Pigs before pigs. Okay, diet, 
cars. And T. Let's try alphabetical. Yeah. Let's try C. G. I. T. Yeah, this is totally a Resident Evil mansion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess that's not it. All right, I should explore some more. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Because we got some other rooms in this area. This is actually a big area here. A weird clock. Okay, that's what, an apple, a cat, a car, and tea? Yep. Seems familiar. Seems weird. Alright, so cat is three, T is five, car is eight, and apple is twelve. So it goes cat, T, car, diet. Let's try that. Bathroom door is open. Good to know. Alright. Oh, they, okay. WC from 3 o'clock. Telling you the bathtub can't be filled. What about those, um... We can't get to them yet, but... <laughs> we gotta get in there first. Postpone. Doesn't work. A smelly note. Oh no. Horned is the last beast to go, the flames dying in its wake. Okay. Gotta be something over here. Ah, we got a bedroom over here. Questionable odor. Another note. Swine follows after canine. Let's just start writing these down. Yeah, they're probably in our evidence, but. Oh, yeah, they probably are. To check up that way. Drawers. Aha! Always useful. Bingo. Music box key. Hmm. Useful things. 
Now there was something else over there. And of course, like any good game key, it breaks after use. Yes. Okay, so Atista couldn't have gone out this way because this place is surrounded, basically. Or at mm -hmm. least we think. We're assuming there's some kind of mystery room inside these other mystery rooms. Let's wind up the music box, I guess, right? Yep, I just gotta work my way over there slowly. <laughs> Try to drag with two fingers. Can you like click two mouse buttons to drag or something? I tried. I have to. Ho I have to uh. hold down my right, my right click or my left click, and then scroll the mouse wheel to do that. Oh, that's weird. It's a little weird. It doesn't really work that well. Oh, tweezers, tweezers. No? I guess not. Alright, then let's use it let's use that key on the cabinet then. Mm-hmm. Break that key. What a Wally. Well, fortunately, we do. They put it in the same cupboard as the key. <laughs> they did. This isn't a big Come area. On. Look, the police were not able to figure out these mystery rooms. They require the brightest minds. <laughs> <I guess> not. <laughs> So now what? Maybe we can lockpick it with something? With the tweezers? <laughs> I mean, try it. Clock hands, of course. I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that's dumb, but... Reminder that this is originally a phone game, so the interface works better on there a little bit. I would assume so. Um... Hmm. I will look at the clock again just for the hell of it. I don't think you can use the broken key on the music box. It did say that the key would be useful for something. in the cabinet? No, we're still just... Okay. But not its original purpose. Yeah. So I feel like we don't really have a key for this yet. Or, I mean, we could just say the clock. You can give it a shot, right? I doubt it, but... Yeah, no, it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, try the broken key on the music box. I think that's the only thing that 
seems halfway reasonable. Like the <laughs> thing, a new thing we got on a thing we have to try. Oh to yeah, hit. if that's the winder, if that shape yeah. is the winder there, then we do have something that kind of fits it. This reminds me of an old. Uh, this reminds me of a puzzle from uh, an old adventure game that I played. I think it was called like Dragon Lore or something, where you had to forge a key after finding it and then breaking it and then finding a bunch of shit just to put it back together. There we go. I'm not gonna question how that works, but hey. And I guess Switch that's key. the covenant key? Yes, this must be the covenant. The covenant key? The cabinet key. I've had a lot of trouble saying words recently. Now eat the new key. <laughs> wow, you really hate being out of the office, don't you? Are you gonna tell us who Hilda is? Oh, she works for Interpol. Okay. Dog. So what did we get for this? Pig. Rhino. Cow. Okay, so our clues are. Yeah, can you pull these up again? I think it was like hornless beast first, and then the dog before the pig? Hornless is the beast that leads the way, so first, and then swine follows after canine, which means dog first, then pig. Yeah. Bovine comes before swine, which means dog, cow, pig, and then rhino. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, but what to do with them? Fill them with water? I guess so, yeah. In that order? Maybe? Still working on that secret room. Continue to investigate. I think you want the uh, yeah, the button in the bottom left. Whatever. Okay, so first, uh, dog. Mm-hmm. I think I don't think this is the op the the operation. I think it's probably pouring it onto the fire, which doesn't really seem like a puzzle, but maybe it is. Okay, let's give it a shot. Cow, pig. Throw the goblet into the fire. A very reasonable thing to do. 
A lot of things are reasonable in the mystery room. understand how the order would matter for this, but okay. Nope. like how he's just, you know, <laughs> this was a little easy. It's a very nice outfit. <laughs> oh, you don't know? That's a good disguise. It's very convincing. Diane Makepeace. Sure. The daughter of Keelan Makepeace, the guy you murdered. Oh, that's what this is all about. It's her. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. This is the mastermind. Forbodium Castle. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good name. <laughs> so dumb. It's really good. That's that's this game is like taking the Phoenix Wright uh, naming conventions and really just kind of just kind of ran yeah, with it. it. It's a bit too ridiculous, Imo. I love it. Like that uh, sixth game in the Phoenix Wright series had the same problem where the names were just a bit too dumb. Those were too dumb for me. I feel like these are on my le <laughs> on my level a bit. <coughs> God, still coughing. Is that it for K7? That is. So I guess we'll cut it a little oh, short for fun. today. Oh, we're going getting a request from her. That's cool. Yeah. So next time, the final two cases, folks. Ham and cheese. Good cop. Bad cop. We will... We will resolve the end of this. The mystery rose. Thank you for those uh, anonymous bits, by the way. 
Much appreciated. A bit of a short stream today, but thank you everyone for watching. Uh, please follow if you're not already doing so, and thank you, Admiral, for hanging out. <laughs>